is known as the home of luxury brands such as Louis Vuitton, Prada, Versace, Chanel, Gucci, Balenciaga and many more. It is fast becoming a solid alternative to China for small foreign business owners who want to source wholesale clothing for reselling in their home country. This video is going to show you how to shop wholesale items from Turkey without going there. We're going to cover some of the profitable niche markets that you can consider for your business. We're going to go through the wholesale clothing selling format, some of the purchase, payment and courier options that are available to you. And we're going to go through a couple of websites that help you to be able to shop online or wholesale from Turkey. Lastly, we're going to go through some of the places where you can purchase a vendor list or guide if you're interested in that. But I'm also going to be sharing with you a free vendor list which you'll be able to download from the description. This video is meant to give you a head start as you do your own research on how to start or grow your own business by selling products from Turkey. This is not a sponsored video and this channel is in no way affiliated with any of the people or businesses that will be mentioned. Consider this video as part of your research. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos and also give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoy it. To get started, you first need to identify your niche market. Ask yourself these questions. Who is your customer? Is there demand for your product? What problem are you solving? What is the potential profit? Who are your competitors? Turkey is well known for designer clothing, shoes, handbags and other fashion accessories for both original designer brands and yes, I'm gonna say it, fake branded items. However, you can also purchase perfume, lingerie, cosmetics, home accessories and bedding as these are fast becoming profitable niche markets that you can explore. When you visit a wholesale Turkish website or store, you find that clothing items are sold in what are called series. For example, if you're buying shoes, you find that a particular wholesaler will tell you that they are selling a certain type of shoe like this one, eight pairs packed in a box. But this is a four series because it comes in four different sizes, but it's the same color and design. This dress can be sold as a series of four or as a series of five. If you're interested in buying sets and combos, the combos usually work for accessories. So it will have a combo of your handbags and your matching shoes. It is difficult to buy one color, one design in one size only single purchases as vendors and suppliers focus on bulk purchases. This may be very limiting if you already know what your customers prefer, but it's also a great way to introduce a product and see which one performs better. To buy a series, you can either do so as an individual and do a bulk purchase on your own or as a group of people and then you share the product. Due to the fact that Turkish clothes are more expensive, most prefer to buy a series as a group to minimize costs. You do not even need to know the people you're in a group with as some shoppers and runners already have these in place as they are very much aware that not all of their customers can afford to make single person bulk purchases. To start buying, you'll need a person who is going to help you to buy your goods from the suppliers or vendors. So you have two types of middlemen, your middleman type A and your middleman type B. Your middleman type A performs similar roles and these people go by various names such as buyers, shoppers, personal shoppers, brokers and assistants. And your middleman type B are your runners. Your middleman type A are your shoppers and agents and these are typically based in Turkey. And in some cases, these are the ones that also shop on behalf of the runners in your local home country. Shoppers do not own any stores in Turkey, but since they are based there, they are the first to know of all the latest trends with access to local marketplaces where they buy directly from vendors. Turkey-based shoppers can be found in Facebook groups that search for groups about buying and selling in Turkey. If you decide to join a shopper group, you find that products are posted randomly. However, if you do have special requests, some shoppers can charge anything from 50 US dollars a day to move around the different marketplaces in Turkey and look for any specific products that you want. We'll then do a video call with you whilst they're in the market showing you the products that are available in the stores and you can make your decisions on what you want to buy. To sum it all up, the role of the shopper is to help you organize your payments and transfer money and all the other payments to the vendors or the suppliers. They also help you to collect your orders and then ship them to you. Runners can be found in Facebook groups and this is where they promote their products the most. Just search for groups about buying and selling in Turkey. And these are people who are usually based in your local home country. They have a very similar business model to Turkey based shoppers. In terms of payment, you pay the runner directly and then they fulfill the order on your behalf. So your vendors are store owners and suppliers who are based in Turkey. 
They are super hard to find and connect with as most of them are cash and carry, so they do not have a strong online presence. Vendors use a combination of WhatsApp, Telegram and Instagram to communicate with their customers and some of them just use one social media platform. Less than 20% of the Turkish population know how to speak in English as English is not their first language. There are over 20 languages within Turkey and Turkish is the main language. For this reason, you'll find that quite a number of vendors and suppliers struggle to communicate in English which can make it difficult when you're approaching them. So you need to find good ways of being able to communicate effectively, or you can find people that can communicate on your behalf. Putting all of this in perspective, you'll find that shoppers and runners have seemed to be the most preferred as there is direct communication with the real person, which helps to build trust and sustainable business relationship. They're also the easiest to find as contact details for vendors are not easily accessible. Like in any business, you still need to carefully do your research to avoid being scammed. Local Turkish stores and markets mostly sell their products in US dollars due to the fact that the Turkish lira has not been performing well in the past years. This is the reason why you find most products are priced in US dollars. These are the most preferred payment options for runners, shoppers and vendors, which is your Western Union, Ria Money, MoneyGram, World Remit, Transfer Wife. And if you're in the same country, you'll find that some of them will accept local bank transfers. That most online payment methods are accepted from your MasterCard, your Visa, your PayPal. They also do accept Western Union, MoneyGram, and I have seen one that actually does accept cryptocurrency. Once you've placed your order, your package will be weighed and the shipping costs will be calculated and sent to you. The problem with buying from shoppers and runners is that there are no systems in place to help you to track your parcels. You can only rely on the information that they're giving you for you to know exactly what is going on. If you decide to use a cargo company to help you to ship your products from Turkey, they will give you access to tracking information, which means less headaches and less sleepless nights. The most popular shipping options when shipping from Turkey are FedEx, UPS, you can use the local post office, DHL and other smaller cargo companies. Most packages that are being shipped from Turkey are actually shipped via air and it usually takes about 4 to 14 working days to go to most destinations. Air shipping can cost anything from $8 to $20 a kg and you can also be charged airway bills that can start from $50 to as high as $90. Some shippers and courier companies actually include customs clearance costs in their shipping costs so there are no additional taxes or clearing fees but it's always best to make sure that you find out if all those costs are included before you make a payment. And some courier companies will actually do door-to-door -door delivery or they can actually just have a collection point which you can use within your area. Now let's go into some of the online websites where you can buy items from Turkey and ship them to your country. Always take time to go through each website to see if they do have worldwide shipping. If they don't, you can always look for courier companies are shoppers that can be able to help you to consolidate your parcels and send them to you. The first website that you're going to take a look at is Yolando.com. Yolando actually helps you to be able to create a free account and they give you a free Turkish delivery address where you can consolidate your parcels and actually have them sent to you as one package. Sign up is free and you're not charged for signing up but if you do want special services you can pay for extra membership services. So you find that they've got a huge list of shops that you can purchase from and you can always go through them to see what they have available. Since they provide worldwide shipping, it will be best for you to just check if your country is there. You can just scroll to the bottom of their first page and you'll be able to see if your country is there and also be able to check the different shipping options or the shipping information that is there that applies to your country. I like the fact that with their website, you're able to see the approximate weight of your goods. They also have an online shipping calculator, which helps you to estimate your shipping costs before you actually send your package. Turkopt is probably the most well-known online Turkish website that is there. And you're able to buy wholesale clothing from there. And the prices can be in US dollars or euros if there's, there's a nice currency converter that you can use. They've got different categories for their items. They sell men's wear, ladies wear, they sell footwear. They've got a catalog that you can go through. They always have special offers. And you're able to see how clothing is actually sold in wholesale. As mentioned before, clothing are sold in series. 
And for this particular website, if you're looking at dresses, you can see that they're sold as four series. So they've got different sizes and with the same design and same color, but for four different sizes. The same goes for men's wear. If you are to check out what they are, they also have as well. The clothes are sold in series and this is a series of four. They've got small, medium, large and XL for both cardigans and for t-shirts. What I like about this website, it also gives you an approximate estimate of all the shipping costs. It also tells you the timelines. This they also say they're shipping four to five days for some destinations, which is pretty fast. And that is good so you can just take time to check out if your country is there and also take time to assess the different shipping options that are available to you the next website is alibaba with alibaba all you have to do when you visit the site is to enter the product that you want to search in the search bar and for now i'm looking at ladies shoes once you've managed to search you'll find that the search results that will pop up are mainly for china this is mainly because while well, alibaba is a chinese website right but what you then have to do, you can always filter these results by country. And they've got different countries that actually are there. So there are different manufacturers that have signed up onto Alibaba. And if you scroll down and you select Turkey, you find that the search results will reload and they will change. And then the search results that will pop up will be for products that are being sold or manufactured directly from Turkey and then they can actually be shipped to you. For this particular pair of shoes, if I want that, the minimum order quantity is 10 pairs and you find that it's in this particular color if I want to make a wholesale sale and they also have different colors if you scroll down you'll be able to see the company profile you can see where they registered you can see the address and they've got any contact numbers that have also uploaded onto the site next website is baby clothing this website actually sells baby clothing and children's clothing at wholesale and they've got quite a number of different things that they're selling. They sell clothing, they sell footwear, they sell accessories, and they also work with different brands and companies on this particular website. And you find that the minimum order amount for this website is $300, US which can be quite a lot if you're still starting out. But it's still a good option to think about if you're thinking about maybe sourcing baby clothing. The next website is Femka. Femka as well is one of the most popular online wholesale websites in Turkey and they mainly sell ladies clothing. They sell dresses, they sell jackets, they sell quite a number of interesting accessories as well. They have worldwide shipping and they also have evening gowns which are very very beautiful and you can just click on any of the products to see how things are done and how they're actually selling their products. Before I share with you where you can buy a list for vendors and suppliers, I'm also going to share with you how I created the free vendor list that I've shared with you in the description and where I managed to find some of the information that I put in there. Whenever I'm doing my research, my go-to place is always Google. So if you just Google, for example, Turkey, wholesale, clothing or suppliers, you find that the first thing that is going to pop up are definitely search results that can help you to start making those decisions, be able to see information that you require. And you'll find that you even get information like what we already shared today. But you find that all the top websites are there from Turkop is there. You've got Femka as well, it's popping up there. You've got China Brands, which literally just gives you loads of articles on importing and exporting of products. We've already covered Turcops, we've covered Femca, we saw China brand and if you scroll down on all the articles, you'll see more websites that you can also explore to find more information. There's wholesaleturkey.net and you also have WTT and you also have Facebook. You'll find the Facebook results like this one already. It's already showing you shoppers and the boutique that is based in Turkey and the contact details there, you can always reach out to them. And Facebook really just does wonders when you think about it, because it gives you so much access. If you go in your search bar for Facebook, you can search, for example, uh, Turkey buying and selling or Turkey clothing, Turkey shoes, Turkey sellers, Turkey buyers, Turkey accessories, and all these different search results will pop up from posts and groups that you can join and participate. For me, it's mainly the groups that have actually been very helpful because a lot of people do a lot of discussions in these groups and you're able to find that information on cargoes, you can find that information on the trending products, and you can find that information on runners. 
but you still need to verify. Instagram as well, social media with Instagram, Instagram never lets me down. If you go in your Turkey and you type in, for example, Turkey wholesalers, you will find similar information. You'll find more boutiques there that are maybe not signed up on Facebook. They'll pop up there. You can also follow a hashtag. If you do hashtag Laleli or hashtag clothing, that will also pop up. I cannot not talk about YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. YouTube is like literally one of the best search engines out there. And if you look, you find that there are loads of videos that are there. And some of them are re repeating YouTubers, like the same YouTubers talking about the same content. Some are already based in Turkey and they're sharing the experience. Some are personal shoppers that are advertising the products that they're selling. And you always have information that can actually help you to make a decision as you're doing your research. And for this particular instance, you find that some of them are even selling vendor guides and they do talk about them in their YouTube videos. No Barrier Growth also has a YouTube channel that you can follow and they're talking about all these things and they do have their own vendor list. And this vendor list does not just cover information on how to buy ladies wear from Instabool, which they say they do cover in their guide. They're also talking about different Chinese manufacturers which you can source products from and this particular guide is going for 75 pounds. 75 pounds in South African Rand is around 1,500 Rand which is not small money. It is not small change. Hey, it's a lot of money for us but it is an investment if you're really thinking about it. It's a pity there's no way that you can check for reviews to see if this is worth buying. The next one that I found as well is a company called Glow Consulting and they are selling, they say the updated vendor list for 2020, it's going for $25, which is much cheaper than the no barrier growth vendor that we just went through. And for their particular vendor, they're saying that this one has 80 contacts of suppliers and they're also talking about how they've got shipping companies that they've put in there to help you with the decision and they're also listing online websites which is awesome and they do have like a five percent off for if you refer your friend then your friend also gets five percent off another one that i also found on facebook is turkey suppliers contact this is a facebook group that you can join and they're selling their turkey guide for twenty dollars they're also saying that they're doing lessons, teaching people how to shop from China for $10. You can reach out to them and see how you can make a purchase if you're interested in that. Oh wow, we've come to the end of the video. I haven't been so tired. It's quite late and I've been working on this video. <laughs> Shout out to you. It means that probably you're finding value in this video. And I hope that you also find value in the vendor list to help you get started on your amazing journey. If you're starting out your business or you want to grow a business, if you like this video, do make sure that you give it a thumbs up, give it a like so that I know that you enjoyed this video. If you know of anyone that might actually benefit from this video, please share on your Facebook, on your WhatsApp, on your social media accounts so that everyone else can also benefit from this as well. Do share your feedback in the comments. I'd like to know what you thought about this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And I guess that's it. I'll see you on the new one. All the best with your business in 2021 and beyond. Bye.